baby bunting, daddy's going hunting to get a little rabbit skin to wrap his little baby in. Olé, olé. Here are your books, my dear. Oh, thank you, Dolly. And here is your hunting shirt. Oh, fine. Now, you sure you haven't forgotten anything, have Not you? Not a thing, dear. Well, I'd better look around and make sure. All right. Bye, baby bunting, am I going hunting? If baby knew I'd get the air, but she won't know, so I don't care. Or lay, or lay to... <clears throat> don't bother, honey, I haven't forgotten a thing. Oh, no? What about this? Oh, yes, my gun. Yes. <laughs> well, I must be off. My train leaves in 20 minutes. Goodbye. Goodbye. And be a good little girl while I'm gone. Certainly I will, darling. And, Bud, try to bring back a moose this time instead of just a picture of one. A moose? Oh, yes. I'll try my best. And, Bud, I do hope the hunting is good. I hope so. <laughs> well, I'm off to the old main woods. Goodbye. Goodbye, dear. Hello? Long distance? Atlantic City? Yes, this is Mrs. Gay. Oh, hello, Dolly. How are you? Oh, so Daddy's gone a-hunting again. Well, why don't you come down here to Atlantic City and spend the weekend with me? I'm at the Seaside Hotel. The Seaside Hotel? Gee, that sounds tempting. I'll do it. I'll be down this afternoon. Hi, baby bunting. Mama's gonna hunting. Ah, oh, that's it. Hold that. Don't move. Oh, boy. What an angle. What an angle. Ah, <laughs> oh, boys, this is going to be fine. This is going to be all right. Now, remember, I want you to have this picture make me look like a real handcuffed king. Now, don't forget. You'll either look like that or a fugitive from a chain gang. <laughs> Here, get in the tank. We should have a Derek with this guy. Wait a minute. Take it easy. Take it easy. That's fine. Oh, what a picture this is going to be. Here I go. Here I go. Go ahead. Oh, that's great. Now, say, listen. How long do I have to hold me, friend? Not over ten seconds. Oh, that's a sin. Now, take a deep breath and we'll get going. <laughs> now, hold everything. A little too high, I'll have to lower it a little. Oh, Roger, this should be our masterpiece. <laughs> Might even be a little better than that. <laughs> oh, uh oh, a screw loose. Roger, I wish you'd watch those things. There you are. That's got it. Hey! What do you want? Did you get it yet? No, but we're working on it. Get back in your bucket. Okay. <clears throat> oh, peeping Tom, eh? No! Roger, get the plate. Oh, what is it? Oh, how dare you, sir? What's the idea coming around here playing when honest men are at work? Who are you? I, sir, am J.N. Martin, manager of the Seaside Hotel. So what? Stop that! Stop, I say! <laughs> I've had complaints about you going from room to room soliciting business. Well, you know, business is business, Martin. Well, I've told my house detective the next time he catches you in our hotel to throw you out on your ear, even if it's from the tenth floor. That's restraint of trade, Martin. Stop that! Remember, sir... You have been warned. I defy you, Martin, stomach and all. <coughs> Good day, sir. Good day. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Curse those foreign customs. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hey! What are you doing in that tank? Oh, about me picture. Picture? What picture? Oh, the picture. I'd forgotten about that. Say, listen, old man, River. How can I take a picture if you don't hold your pose? Get back in your aquarium. Get sinking. Get sinking. Okay. Now hold that. Smile, smile, you sucker, smile. I got it. Blotch it, fish him out of the tank. Coming out with the walrus. Careful there, Lynn. There you are, big boy. Come on, hey, girl. don't get me wet. Oh, never mind. Okay. Well, Mr. Sea Serpent, where do you want this photograph delivered? The Seaside Hotel. Uh-oh. Uh, you see, I'm uh, Snoop's the house detective there. Uh-oh. Say, uh... Get me out of these things, will you? I'm, I'm getting cold. <laughs> Roger, uh, unlock Mr. Stoops. I, I lost the key. Oh, oh. What? You lost the key? Well, how am I going to get these things off? Well, after all, mister, you're the handcuff king. You'll have to figure that out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, when I get out of these chains, I'll be back. Yeah, you'll be humpbacked. Well, come on, get out of here. You're getting the whole place oh. wet. Outside. Oh. Outside. <laughs> Hiya, boys! 
Well, Nimrod himself. How are you? Welcome to Atlantic City. I see you're on your annual hunting trip again. Yes, sir. And the wild game's coming down on the six o'clock train. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Say, fellas, get out my hunting lodge in the main woods while I change my clothes, will you? Okay. Blodger, get out the old bull moose. I'll let down the main woods. Okay. Oh, <laughs> What's the matter? You having moose trouble, Blodger? I'll help you. Hey! Oh, Dolly, I'm so thrilled to be here. But my husband must never know about this. He'll never find out. Just tell him you were visiting your cousin in Washington. <laughs> Plain to see you've never met Bud. I'd have to prove it. Oh, so he's that kind of a husband, is he? <laughs> well, we'll prove it. I'll take you down to Flash and Blodgett. They'll take your picture on top of Washington's monument if you want them to. Come on. Graham. Now, hold that. Smile. Smile a little. Put your hand on your chest. Since when has your chest slipped down that far? <laughs> Up higher, that's it. Now, hold it. Got it. I now pronounce you man and moose. Say, fellas, I just have to think of something. What is it? I want to take that moose home to my wife. Will you sell it? What, part with that dear old moose of ours? Never. I'll give you $50 for it. Sold, but I won't dust it off at that price. <laughs> okay, take the stuffing out of them and deliver them with the pictures. When? Tonight. Suite 601, Seaside Hotel. Suite 601, Seaside Hotel. I'm glad he's not on the 10th floor. Well, here we are. Well, ladies, what's on your mind? My friend wants a picture taken in Washington, D.C. Well, lucky Washington. Blodgett, all aboard for Washington! Washington, the next stop! Would you like to step in the dressing room and primp up a little? You'll find hairpins on the floor. <laughs> right this way. <laughs> well, where have you been all my life? Well, so long, Nimrod. I'll see you at the hotel tonight, right out here. <laughs> Mr. Nimrod there is one of my biggest customers. Oh, by the way, could you deliver the picture tonight? Sure, where? Seaside Hotel. Not the 10th floor, is it? No, suite 602. 602, 601, Seaside Hotel. Lady, it looks like I'm going to be right in the middle of things. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Take this telegram to Mr. Nimrod in 601. Yes, sir. Snoops, you've been entirely too lax. And if you can't enforce the rules of this hotel, I'll hire a house detective that can. Yes, Mr. Martin. And remember, the quickest way for you to lose your job is to ever let those two photographers flash and blodge it into this hotel. Yes, Mr. Martin. Flash and blodge it. Telegram, Mr. Nimrod. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Oh, I feel so much safer since I had that picture taken. Oh, now, don't worry. Everything's just ducky. I'll run upstairs first and deliver the photographs. You follow later and keep your eye open for that house detective. Blodgett, we've got to be very careful. I'm nothing if not careful. Well, it looks like you're nothing. Well, I'm on my way. You said it. Remember what I told you about Flash and Blodgett? Yes, Mr. Martin. Did I scare you? Here's your photograph. Oh, thanks. What? No women? Where's the wild cargo? Ah, uh, my pal sent me a telegram. The girls turned him down. He's not coming. Gee, that is tough, Nimrod. Oh, say, you remember that swell-looking gal you met in my gallery? Yeah, she was a pip. She's right across the hall. No. Yes, come on. Oh, oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Flash and Blodgett at your service. Here's your photograph. Thank you. Have you changed for $20? Not since 1929. <laughs> I have the change. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's uh, right over in my room. I also have a little drink there. Won't you join me? Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about your picture? Oh, just leave it in the other room. Okay. Blondie, where are you? Yoo-hoo, Blondie. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Blondie. Oh, there you are. Trying to hide on me, huh? Here's your picture. Well, let me see it. Turned out fine. This is you, and this is the capital. <laughs> <laughs> Police. Please what? Oh, come on and join the party. I want you to meet a chubby fellow with a little mustache. I'm afraid I'd better not. All right, then I'll send him over here. Hey! Hey! 
Cut it out. Say, I have good news for you, Nimrod. Yes, what is it? I just put you in right with Blondie across the hall. Well, I can't go this way. You'll pardon me. Certainly. I sicked him on your friend because I like you. <laughs> Here's how. You'll soon get rid of that fat guy. Where'd you say Blondie is? 602, right across the hall, and the sooner the quicker. Fine. Bye. You're joking. No, I ain't. Won't you sit down? On your hand? You couldn't hold me. How about this right here? <laughs> you know, darling, there's a still small voice in here which seems to say... I've decided to stay right here with Dolly. Oh, yeah, well, it don't take me long to understand things. I go, yes, I go, but I go back to Blondie. <laughs> Yet. Uh, Blodgett, uh, Dolly's looking for you. Who's Dolly? That's my girlfriend. You'll like her. Where's she at? She's in, uh, 603. Good. I want to meet them all. Why don't you come over and meet my uh, friend, Mr. Nimrod? He's such a nice, jolly, plump fellow. You mean the one with the mustache? Mm -hmm. I just met him. Oh, that was Blodgett that you met. Yes? Well, why don't you get a man like that for me? Oh, so you spurned me, eh? So you want a fat, chubby man. I know just the man for you. Cherchez la femme, also the man. Hello, give me Mr. Martin, the manager of the hotel. Official business. Hello, Marsky. This is Flash. Flash and Blodgett, you know, the photographers. Ah? Huh? Certainly we're in the hotel. After what I told you? What are you doing in this hotel? Why, you... Ah! Wait a minute, I'm trying to fix something for you. He's a little particular, but I think I can get him. Ah! Uh, shut up, please! I'm in 602, and there's a beautiful gal up here that's just crazy to meet you. Well, be careful of Snoops. My house detective don't catch you. 602, huh? I'll be right up. Well, we can't do nothing till Martin gets here. There he is now. Well, come right in and make yourself at home. Look who's here. Oh, uh, may I fix the room, sir? Never mind this room. You can fix 604. Oh, yes, ma'am. Well, I'll be seeing you later. I guess there's a little butterfly in me, too. <laughs> The lady changed her mind. She wants you to make up 603 instead, right here. Oh, uh, thank you. Well. Hello, Flash! Well, old Roland Holy Martin. <laughs> now, where's this girl who wants to meet me? Now, don't get yourself in an uproar. Step right in here, and I'll bring her over. <laughs> I'm telling you, Martin, she's a peach. Flash, all is forgiven. Forget about it. <laughs> Come with me and meet Roly Poly Mark. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Connie, I want you to meet Mr. Martin, the manager of the hotel. Make him feel at home. Charmed, I'm sure. Likewise. Oh! I wish you wouldn't do that. <laughs> Roger, I'm surprised at you. Give me that. Besides, you shouldn't be in here. You know how bathrooms depress you. Go into this room. No budget on second thought. You better stay in here. <laughs> well, make up your mind. This room is fixed, sir. All right, now we'll unfix it. <laughs> Have you ever been?
ever been down here before? No, this is my first trip to Atlantic City. <laughs> you can't pull up in this hotel. Who do you think you are? Snoops! Stop following me around. You've got enough to attend to without spying on me. Now get out! Yes, Mr. Martin. Now, where were we when we left home? <laughs> Maybe a little drink will bring back your memory. Yes, yeah, I guess they're all out of liquor. I'll go get some. Pardon me. All right. <laughs> she loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. Blodgett, I wish you'd quit wandering around the rooms. That's not a bad idea. Just a butterfly man. She loves me. <laughs> Presto change you. How is that? So well, it's you again. Nobody else but. Did Mr. Martin send that up? No, that's my own idea. How about a little drink? So mind if I do. Where did this picture come from? We took that this afternoon. You did? Is that man in Atlantic City? <laughs> Atlantic City? He's right in the next room. Oh, that's my husband. What? You'll have to get me out of here. Leave that to me, Blondie. Come on. That's my husband. I'm Davy Crockett, Maisie, and I'll keep them air wolves away from that air door. The Indians are here. Scram, Maisie. Wait till you meet my pal, good old Nimrod. We're going to have a lot of fun around here, Maisie. Well, things are coming along fine. I wish you guys would stay put. I'm looking for Dolly. She's not in here. Well, I'll be going then. Hey, how'd my picture get here? I don't know. <laughs> Say, where'd that picture come from? We took that this afternoon. Is that woman in Atlantic City? In Atlantic City, she's in the next room. Oh, good heavens, that's my wife. What? Yeah, you'll have to get me out of this. With flying colors. Yes. Come with me. Oh. Well, here I am, Bright Eyes. <laughs> you better beat it. My husband's in this hotel. Your husband? Yes. What does he look like? He's a stout man with a little mustache. I'm going to get out of here. Here comes your husband now. Oh. Is that your husband? No, that was Martin. Who's Martin? Oh, and never mind. I'll get my grip from 604. Okay. Her husband's here. Oh! Oh! Ow. Hey! Wait a minute, I can't go without my hat. It's got my initials in it. Oh, tut tut, I'll get your hat for you. You can't come in, I'm taking a bath! Bath or no bath, I'm going through there. <laughs> You're not getting enough water. Come on in, Nimrod. There's nobody in your room. Help me get my grip pack. Well, go get it. All right. Now, where are you going? And get... Come on, help me get this grip pack. All right. Please. There you are. Her husband! And get my gun, will you? The gun? Not that! Just a moment, Nimrod. A kiss for Cinderella. <laughs> I didn't know it was you. Her husband's here. You gotta get me out of here. You gotta do something. I got you into this. I'll get you off. Come with me. What are you gonna do? I'll disguise you. Yeah? Here, wrap this around you. Here, wait till I see if the coast is clear. There you are. They'll never know you. They'll think you're a big chief rain in the face. Yeah, but what'll I do now? Don't do anything till you hear from me. Here. Who, Martin? No, her husband. Oh, Nimrod. Okay. Yes, her... Ah. Sir, how dare you? I'll report you to the manager. Excuse me, lady. I thought you was a man. Mm. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. All right. Well, we did our best. <laughs> I can explain everything, dearie. You can't explain anything, yes. but I want to know is what were you doing in Atlantic City? Oh, is the coast clear? Yes, now's your chance. Here's your gun. Be careful of it, it's loaded. Just act nonchalant. How? Oh! Success! I didn't know she was your wife! Snopes! I didn't know it was you, boss. 
Where's that flesh and blood? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, Now's our chance, Blodgett. Get going! Now! Uh. 